How many pizzas are we gonna get today? Well, we're hitting up three spots. So we're gonna have one whole pie, a smaller whole pie, and then slices uh, if our gut doesn't burst open by then. That's gonna be tough. This kind of pizza is good for this weather. It is chilly, it is rainy, it's hefty pizza. It's gonna be nice, warm and comforting stuff, so we're ready. It's quite a perfect day to carve load. It is raining and chilly here in New York. And um, we're gonna go get pizza. We're not just doing any regular pizza crawl today. We're not getting New York style pizza. We're not doing thin crust. We're doing another style that's been sweeping New York in the last few years. It is Detroit style pizza. And what is Detroit style pizza? It is a square pizza that is made in special blue steel pans. They kind of curve like this. So, and the really defining characteristic of it is the crispy cheese edges on the side. They fry in that pan. And it's, it's a lovely thing. We're gonna see how all three of these spots today do it. We're hitting up three spots in three different boroughs. We're starting here in Brooklyn. We're heading to Manhattan, our home borough of Queens. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right, so our first stop is at Emmy Square. It's, it's gonna be like our appetizer pizza for today. <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see how big the pie is. And the interesting about Emmy Square, they were the first ones to bring Detroit style pizza to New York. So they've started this trend and Detroit style pizza has only gotten more popular and for good reason. It's got that sauce on top, which has also become a popular thing, and those crispy edges. We're very curious to see how each place does the crispy edges on the side. We're very excited for this pizza crawl, and we're excited to show you the best Detroit's style pizza that New York has to offer. <laughs> yes. Gonna get a uh, Colony Square. Awesome. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Colony. We have here is the Ezo pepperoni. It looks very crispy. It's got those good roni cups. It's got cheese first, sauce on top. There's pickle jalapenos in here, and there's honey. So it sounds like there's gonna be a salty, sweet, spicy combo here. And you can see those crispy edges. Edges look quite crispy here. It looks good. The crust looks thinner than I expected, which is also good because all the eating would have get to today. <laughs> all right, let's get down and dirty here. Let's roll up the sleeve. Start with this one. See that crispy edge from the pan. I want this one right here. Smell that pepperoni. Smell that pickle jalapeno. All right, let's take that bite. It's pretty hot. Boom. Taste the honey right away. It's a little sweetness. The jalapeno, not too spicy. Adds a little kick because it's pickled. That salty pepperoni is so good. Yes. And look, look how thin it is. I'm very shocked at how thin this is. This is a very thin crust. Here's the bottom. Always very good. I love that salty sweet combination. It's very tasty. We first tried it at Pauly G's that way. Kind of sucks. reputation for being very hipster and it is a good explanation for it but the cool thing about this part of Williamsburg south side of Williamsburg it still has some of that old school feel to it traditionally is a old school Puerto Rican neighborhood you still see the flags flying here you can still see some real old school looking apartment buildings like this right here so that's what's interesting about Williamsburg that a lot of people don't talk about the south side <laughs> It is raining too. This is the days in New York that suck. Days like this. It's not cold enough to snow. At least it would look nice. But it's pouring rain and it's cold. And it's extra wet this way. But that's why we're carbo loading, eating heavy food today. Warm us up a little bit. Eh, what am I kidding? That's just an excuse. We're just gonna eat anyway. <laughs> That was 
cool. We were just on an old school C train. You don't see many of those trains that are not digital anymore. They have to manually turn the train route. It's, I think that goes back to like 60s or 70s, even older. There's not many of these left. So now we are in Manhattan. We are here for our second stop of the day. It's called Lions, Tigers, and Squares. Oh my. Now the oh my is not in there, but um, what it's named after are the sports teams in Detroit. The Lions, Detroit Lions for football, and the Tigers, Detroit Tigers, baseball. And squares, because the square slice. It's a very clever name, and this spot was opened up by the people who own Artichoke Pizza, the very popular chain here in New York City for their heavy artichoke slices. So now we're gonna take a look and see how they do their Detroit style pizza. Let's do ready? this. Let's do it. Get one regular or one sausage. they say it's like a racing strip, which would make sense given the car, the Detroit car culture. A lot of sauce there. Crispy edges look on point. Let's take a bite. Mmm, this is excellent. The sauce in here is very herby. It tastes oregano, there's parsley on there. There's a little bit of parmesan on top. Now, let's try a bite of crispy edge. It's very crispy. It's still, it's still light, airy. It's thicker than the Emmy Square slice. Very good. In this classic pot, they all come four slices to a pie. This one's only five bucks for a whole pie of this. Great deal. Oh man, look at that fennel seed right there. Now it's time to try the sausage slice. The crispy edges look even crazier on this. Look at that. It's very dark caramelized cheese. This has a lot going on it looks like. Yeah, I can't talk about it anymore. I get to take a bite. I love the final soup. Get that bite with that crispy edge, that caramelized cheese. Mm. Beautiful. A reason why I think these crispy edges are so good is because all the oil from the sausage drips over on the sides to caramelize it even more. It's like extra oil to fry that cheese. This crispy edge is even heavier than on the regular slice. It's damn good. And there's that little bit of syrup in there for the sweetness. It was converted. That was good. Stop number two. It was a big success. Lions, Tigers, and Squares, you know, they have a lot to live up to. You know, with the name, they even say Detroit Pizza on there. And you know what? We've never been to Detroit for the actual Detroit style pizza, but they do a damn good rendition here. The crispy edges were really on point. I'm thinking the sausage had all that extra oil that leaked onto the sides to really crisp up the edges even more. It had more crispy edges than the regular slice. The regular slice is excellent too. The sauce was real zesty, had a nice herb flavor in there. It was still very light. It was thicker than the Emmy squared. It's still like, it wasn't so doughy. It was that a little chew to it in the side, but it was nice and crispy. We love crispy pizza. Yes. It was delicious. Yes. And the guy said he was a cool dude. Um, he is a really he's cool dude. He's a really dude. cool dude. He added some little extra to it. This spot looks like a basement of a Detroit man cave, you know? All is missing is just the Detroit Lions on in the background. You have Barry Sanders pictures, you have Motown pictures. It's a very cool spot here. Yeah. What's interesting is the pans there, they're like double pans for one. So, you know, as we mentioned before, Detroit style pizza, the big thing is the pans, the blue steel pans, because they were repurposed. They used to be used for auto parts. You think about Detroit, GM, Ford, you know, the auto, ma auto making, manufacturing, those pans were then used to make food like pizza. <laughs> So far, <laughs> two stops, three pies. I have two slices left from Lion's Tigers and Squares. I ate a whole pie. Uh, Jumi's being much better about it and not eating an entire pie. I'm yep. saving the best we do for have... last. Well, well, it is very good. We've had it before. <laughs> so this is the only one where you both have had it before. And it's the only place you can get it by the slice. And it's a place that you can only get on certain Sundays. It's a pop-up that happens from time to time. It's very rare.
We're walking to our third and last stop. We are now in Queens. We're in our third borough of the day. They're in the final. So the funny thing, this place is called Boston Pizza. I grew up here in Astoria for the first half of my life. And I was like, Boston Pizza? What, what the hell was that? And I'm like, you know, especially being a New York sports fan, I'm like, Boston, psh. But then, you know. So, okay. then I learned more about pizza. And the reason why it's called Boston Pizza is because they make a Greek style pan pizza. Funniest thing here is a pizza pop up. It's a Detroit style pizza pop up at a place called Boston Pizza in New York City. The tale of three cities. We actually wrote a blog post about that. We'll put that in the description below. And we're back in Queens. Yes, we are. <laughs> we're at Steinway. Yes. Steinway is very festive right now. It's the holiday season after all. Oh, I'm ready. We've eaten a lot of pizza, especially me, I've ate a little extra. But I was preparing for this, fasted for about 15 hours before that, so good to go. And after this pizza, that's all we're eating until tomorrow. So far, I'm huh, sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a little both. Imagine yeah. you know, like a real Detroit. You would do it after, <laughs> after it's baked. Yeah. yeah, I do a little differently. I like baking with, with the cheese. Uh, the cheese on top. Just I, I feel like you get a better bake. I mean, just a different kind of bake. Detroit style squares. We got. The pepperoni top, got those good roni cups curled up, up close with the oil. Very crispy edges here, jutting out. We'll take that first bite. So light and crispy. The outside edges, they're almost like cheese nips. It's because of that white cheddar in there. Reminds me of like a freshly made cheese in or cheese nip. So light and airy. Just gonna buy the regular the sauce is a little soupy here. A cheese bowl. Ooh, la la. Love the fresh basil. It's definitely the thickest of the three we had today. So it's probably the lightest, airiest crust. It makes the most sense of he makes the dough handmade. Some of this is even freshly milled flour, which is rare. To blend that in with the other flour you use. Okay, so success. We got success. three Detroit style pizza yep. Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens, yep. and now we're carb out. We are so stuffed. <laughs> My god, we are in a carb coma here. But it was all worth it. It was delicious. And each one was very different. The Emmy squared was very thin, the edges were not as crispy, they had a different style to it. Lion Tigers and Squares, they had a nice showing today, very crispy edges. Uh, you could taste the Wisconsin brick cheese. They're the only ones of the three who yeah. use the traditional Wisconsin mm -hmm. brick cheese. Uh, they were very tasty, and then we finished it off at Sir Hans Detroit style pizza pop up at Boston Pizza. That was the thickest crust, the really nice crispy edges, and what we really like a lot about it is the fluffy, airy dough. It did not feel so heavy. Even after eating all that pizza, we strolled in there stuffed, so we strolled out about just the stuff. We hope you enjoyed the video today. Please yes. hit Give that subscribe that, button. That like button, subscribe, hit the bell. You get the videos right when they come out. We'll see you next time. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Come on down, get some of this Detroit style pizza. And I'm like, God, once you have my pizza, you better not cheat on me. <laughs> There's something like, you know, like the way people talk about, like muffin tops. You ever watch that Seinfeld episode, Top of the Muffin to you? Yeah, that's the, kind of the idea there. Troy style pizza is something special. It's great to see that New York is adopting it and loving it. The three that we had today, they're all very different. This is the only one you can get it by the slice and it's exclusive. You can only get it every so often, generally every other month. 